Good morning and welcome once again to our daily prayer message coming to you from the main courtyard at our beautiful Carmel Mission Basilica. Well, this morning it's once again Thursday and as has been our practice each Thursday, we concentrate on that prayer method called Lexio Divina. And for anyone who's not yet practiced Lexio Divina with us, uh, just a quick reminder. Lexio Divina is a way of reading the scriptures in which we focus less on the theology involved and more on experiencing the Word of God as a living manifestation. We use our imagination to enter the world of scripture, opening our hearts and minds to hear the Word of God and to allow the Holy Spirit to inspire us and then enter into a loving conversation with God through our prayer. It's traditionally comprised of four separate steps. We read, we meditate, we pray, and then we contemplate. As always, time constraints do not allow us to spend the amount of time that I would like to spend with you uh, going through each of these four uh, steps in the process of Lexio Divina. But I, I would ask you, when you have the silence and serenity of your own sacred space at home to spend as much time as you can or feel inspired by the Holy Spirit uh, with uh, each per each particular step, whether it's reading or <coughs> praying or meditating or contemplating. I've chosen for our Lectio Divina today a passage from the book of Proverbs. It's chapter 8, verses 22 through 32. The Lord begot me, the beginning of his works, the forerunner of his deeds of long ago. From of old I was formed, at the first, before the earth, when there were no deeps, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. When the earth and the fields were not yet made, nor the first clods of the world, when he established the heavens, there was I. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the springs of the deep, when he set for the sea its limit, so that the waters should not transgress his command. When he fixed the foundations of earth, then was I beside him as artisan. I was his delight day by day playing before him all the while, playing over the whole of his earth, having my delight with human beings. Now, children, listen to me. Happy are they who keep my ways. Having read the word, we now enter into scripture in our imagination. It might be a little difficult to travel back in time, but we have to try and imagine a time before the world as we know it existed. Imagine washing, watching the creation of the world, the oceans taking shape, the mountains being placed, the heavens being formed. Imagine a relationship of such intimacy that you play before God. We associate play with, with children, but really play is part of our adult lives too. We know we are close to a person when we can lovingly tease them, joke with them, laugh with them. This is a form of play. Now imagine that is your relationship with God. Surely this is a part of heaven, to laugh with God. Next we pray, we talk uh, to our God, we come to him with our thoughts and our hopes. 
Loving Father, we are in awe of your creation. We seek the wisdom to understand your ways and to do your will. We wish to be your delight as you are ours. Help us to heed the voice of wisdom and to know and serve you better. Then you would spend some time in contemplation, expressing your love to God and experiencing the love of the Father for you through the presence of the Holy Spirit. If you do have your own prayer requests, please send them to Father Rodrigo and myself. Just go to our parish website, carmelmission.org, and click on that prayer request button, and we will happily take your intentions with us during our daily prayers and Masses. Thank you.